What's that? Big rip in my pants. A little, oh, is there food in there? No. I'm gonna show you how to use a special shop tool to fix your pants. Ready? Yeah, a sewing machine. Think about it. You know what's inside this thing? A bunch of different gears that turn around, you know, just like your drill press and all your other fancy machines, your CNC, Miller, bridge party, super duper Uber bandsaw, whatever's. This is the same thing. And with this, you can build, it's like a 3D printer from the 19th century, but we're here to fix pants, right? So let's fix my pants. Here's our problem. We have a solution. Turn your pants inside out. Then you've got some scrap cloth from another pair you had to throw out of pants. My uh, thread collection, but also in here are my pins. If I was more organized, the pins would be in a separate bag, but they're not. So, um, so you wanna slip your hand in here because we're gonna pin this to the inside, but we don't wanna pin it to the other side of the pant leg. So we just carefully put those through into the cloth, up out of the cloth. So we go down through both pieces of cloth and then up out like that. I learned a lot about uh, doing shop stuff from my dad but I learned how to sew from my mom. Make sure this lays flat, it's not like um, bunched up. There you go, in each corner, got a pin. I keep my machine pre-threaded, if that's a word, um, with a dark thread. Refer to your instructions on how to thread it, but this is, um, I think this is from the 60s and it is beautiful. Um, this is my mother-in-law's sewing machine. So thank you. Mother-in-law knows who she is. So thank you. Pre-thread, you're ready to go. It's one less thing you got to do when you got to do your pants. That's your gas pedal. I find it's easier to do pant legs. Oh, I got a bunch of dirt on this. Um, I take this thing off makes this easier to work with. Make sure this is tight. Forward. Reverse. And then forward. Take that pin out. Backwards, forwards. Then turn this handle so the needle goes all the way down. You're gonna do a lot of bunching up of everything but the part that you're sewing, okay? So keep this patch as flat as possible. This is all gonna get bunched around because we have to, we gotta turn this now to make the corner. So the needle is down, I'm gonna lift up the foot and turn this and you see I'm shoving all the fabric into the back. Foot goes down. Ow. Um, bleeding. Bleeding from one of the pins. Here's the offending pin. All right, and turn it so the needle goes all the way down, lift up on the foot, pay no attention to the blood stain, turn the whole pant. Oh, that's going pretty good. Remove, ah, oh, there's blood getting everywhere. Um, maybe I should get a Band-Aid. And then turn all the whole pant again. But you want to keep this part flat. Doesn't matter if it's all bunched up everywhere else. A 
and then cross your original uh, sewing. I'm gonna hit the reverse button. Back. Oop, it's bunching up. Forward. How are you? Hi. Hi, Andy. Who's that? Flip up the foot, and then we need to cut the thread that's coming from the top and the bottom. So you uh, pull this kind of out and away gently. Pull that out and cut it. So now I've got cloth underneath the damaged part. And now I'm just gonna run the sewing machine across, set it for a zigzag pattern and run it across here to kind of strengthen this and attach it to the patch. Needle down, foot up. What do you think? Are you impressed? I'm impressed. I think this looks pretty good. So if I can do this, you can do this. You and I can do some more time together. Show some videos, sewing machine and other cool stuff videos. It's an amazing tool. Go get one, fix your pants. See you in the next video.